Hello guys, so welcome to another Power BI visualization design. So for this video, I would like to share to you a simple Pokemon dashboard that will show you all of the details about the selected Pokemon. So we have Articuno, let's select Bulbasaur as our selected Pokemon and you would see here the height, weight, experience, and also the different attributes such as attack, defense, speed, special attack, special defense, and the Pokemon type, and if the Pokemon is legendary Pokemon. And you would see here as well the name of the Pokemon, the Japanese version name, and also the skill of the Pokemon. And that will be the same if we select Charizard as our selected Pokemon. So if you are into this video, let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing that we have to do is to actually create our background design here in PowerPoint to Power BI. And you can see here that we have images of Pokeball, our logo for Pokemon, and also image of a Pokemon. And we also have shapes here with different colors and with different gradients. We have orange and we also have shapes with a dark background. And don't worry, this PowerPoint slide will be shared to you for your reference. Having that said, now let's jump into our Power BI. Now we are in Power BI. Let's change the size of the canvas. So let's go to view page view and actual size of 100% then let's go to format of the report page let's go to canvas background and then let's put transparency to 0% and what we'll do next is we'll import the image of our PowerPoint slide to our Power BI so let's go to format or report page and then let's go to canvas background again select image and we'll just select the image that we want to import to the report and now we are ready to put visuals to the report so first thing let's create a slicer let's put it here and then let's select name of all the pokemons added to the model so to do that let's go to pokemon and then let's select name and then and then we should be able to see all of the name of the Pokemons here. And also, we'll just limit our report to the first 150 Pokemon in Kanto region. So to do that, let's go to Pokedex. Let's put ID under filters on this page. And then under advanced filtering, let's select is less than or equal to 150. And then apply filter and from here you would see that our slicer changed into the first 150 pokemon based on the id selected in our filters and now we will hide the filter pane and we'll add cards to our report so let's select the canvas first and then let's select card here let's put it here We'll select, um, we'll select height for the first one and then let's select now the weight. Let's copy and paste that and now we'll select XP. And let's try if the relationship will work. Let's select Articuno or Bidrial. So you can see here that our cards change its value based on the slicer selection. Alright, so let's just put it here. Then let's select these three cards. Let's remove the um, background of these cards. And then let's change the, let's go to callout value. Let's change the uh, font of the text. Say, let's select um, this font style. And then let's change it to color white and we will also do the same in our slicer so let's select the slicer let's go to format and then under slicer header let's turn it off 
and let's go to general go to effects and then turn off the background and then let's go to visual let's go to values and change the color of the font and then let's select a different font style which is Comic Sans MS and then let's make the font bold and then italic and then and let's increase the size to uh, 14 alright then next is we'll add our table and then the Pokemon image and we will go to format of the visual then under image height we'll increase the pixels to 150 pixels alright and we'll add one more table now we'll go to Pokemon descriptions we'll add the description of the Pokemon and we'll put it here and one more table so that we can add the first part of the description we'll put it here and we'll add another table so that we can add the second part alright and next up is we'll just copy this card since this is already formatted and we will go to Pokemon attributes and then we'll add attack on it we will also add defense and we'll also add speed and let's select all of the card visual and under callout value let's make it a little bit smaller so that we can see the category label of each cards and let's go to category label let's make it um, blue for now and what we'll do is we'll just repeat the process and we'll fill in cards to all of the containers that we have here so let's copy two cards all right now for for the first visual we'll add special attack and for the next visual we will select special defense let's copy another card and let's put it here now let's say we'll add the Japanese name of the Pokemon and let's add it here and let's make it a little bit smaller say around 20 or 15 alright and then we'll remove the category label and we'll copy this card again now what we'll put is the name of the Pokemon and we'll copy this again now what we'll do is we will add the type of the Pokemon say for the first card let's add the type 1 and for the second one let's put type 2 and we can also add the total HP of the Pokemon so let's put HP here and also we'll add the capture rate of the Pokemon so that it would give you an idea on what is the chance of catching this Pokemon and now in this step what we'll do is we'll finalize all the formats of our visuals so that it will be pleasing in the user interface so first let's select all of our cards and let's go to the format of the visuals and then under call out value we'll make it a little bit more smaller so let's say we'll make it around 15 and in category label we'll make it around 8 and let's arrange all of our visuals so let's make it something like this now let's add or insert a text box so this will be our height text all right and then let's remove the background and then let's put it here and let's make it say around 28 font style or around 2018 all right 
and let's do the same let's have this as weight and let's have this as experience XP okay say let's add a shape here and the color of the shape would be under style let's change it to a dark color red all right this is this will be good and we'll copy this one and put it here all right and for our card visual I'll do is we'll remove now the category label and let's resize our let's resize the numbers here all right okay uh, let's just move it a little bit on the right side all right now we have weight okay so let's select our cards again and let's make it around um, say 25 okay and uh, the under general properties for the wheel let's say we will have uh, 65 instead or 90 would that work okay now for these tables we'll um, select all of this and let's go to format how the visuals under grid we'll turn off the horizontal grid line let's go to border and we'll change the color to white instead and we'll go to the column headers and we'll select a different font style say D style and let's make it around 16 or 20 instead and for the values we'll make it around 15 or 13 let's fit the table into our container so instead of pokemon underscore image we'll change this to um, pokemon all right and then for description we'll just fit it also to our container until here and since the information in part one and part two is also the same on the full description we'll just remove these two tables and we'll change it to these two cards the type one and the type two so uh, we'll change first the um, color of the value of the value let's make it around um, 45 instead and we'll add one more card just to show the abilities of the pokemon and let's go to visual format again let's make it around 30 or 25 so there are always um, two or three uh, abilities that is in our data set so let's put it here and and let's just format this card so let's go to general under effects turn on the background and let's select um, this color so let's just align or fit it inside in our container and then let's go to um, call value and we'll change the font color to now let's put it somewhere here so let's just put this type 1 and type 2 cards um, here for now and what we'll do is um, we'll put the name of the Pokemon in this container instead so let's go to the call of value format let's make it um, this color maybe and then let's make the size uh, around 65 or 60 yeah there so um, we have the name of the Pokemon here and then let's add the Japanese version name of the Pokemon so uh, let's put the name or the English name here and then at the bottom would be the Japanese name 
of the Pokemon. So call a value and then under color, select black and then say you guys have 35 or 30. Alright. And now we'll arrange uh, these cards in this container. So let's select all of the cards first. And then under general, let's select properties on with. Let's have around uh, 100 maybe. Okay, and um, let's uh, have it here, attack defense and speed um, with around 65, okay, and um, to make it a little bit faster, so let's select align and distribute horizontally, alright, and then align to top. For these cards, let's go to General, Properties, and we will be 65. And let's put it here. And let's create a donut chart. So what we'll add is the attack, the defense, and also speed. All right, and then we'll remove the um, background first. And also the... Um, under legend, we'll put it at the bottom. So, bottom center. Alright. And uh, we'll fit it in this container. So, for the title, we'll turn it off. Let's go to general as well. Turn it off. And then for visual colors, we'll go to slices. So for attack, let's make it our um, color red. For defense, let's have um, color green. And for speed, that will be color yellow. All right. Now let's go to visuals again. And um, under data labels, under values, we'll change the color to white and around um, size will, should be 8 and also legend text color will be white and we'll just resize our chart inside the container so that we'll be able to see all of the values here alright there and we'll just copy and paste our donut chart to the next container so instead of attack defense and speed what we'll have is special attack and special defense all right and let's go to slices again special attack should be color red and special defense should be color green and they should match on size of both the chart and let's move our visuals or cards at the very top and we'll remove this already and finally what we'll do is we'll copy our text and also the card visual and we would like to know if the Pokemon is a legendary type so let's have is legendary and in the card visual, what we'll have is we'll select this measure to identify if the Pokemon is a legendary or not. So to test this report, we can select Articuno and you can see here that Articuno is legendary Pokemon. But if we select Blastoise, then we would see that Blastoise is not a legendary Pokemon. And if you select Articuno again, and it will show all of the details about Articuno as our selected Pokemon. And that is the end of this video. Hope you like this report, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.